Let's talk about some of the ways you can use multiple monitors to improve how you're working. I've got two screens in front of me. These are 24 inch monitors and I've got them side by side. This one directly in front of me and I've got one over on my left hand side and I've got them on a monitor arm, which I'll show you as one of the better ways of mounting your two monitors. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the ways you can improve your experience using dual and multiple monitors. Let's get started by having a look at the monitors that I've got and the arm that I've mounted them on and how that sits on your desk. This is my setup monitor in the front, one off to the left and the microphone there above. The left monitor is slightly higher than the one in the middle and you'll be able to see now as I move towards these that I've got ViewSonic monitors in front of me and over to the left, both the same brand as I described. Okay, now that we've got an understanding of the best way to put the monitor onto your desk, what about how it actually looks like in your display settings in Windows and how you have your resolution, which is how much information is shown on the screen and what you've got with your scaling, which is what size that it then looks like on your screen. And I'll take you through that now when we cut down to having a look at these settings in Windows 10. Okay, this is my desktop in Windows 10. Now, if I right click on this and choose display settings, see it launches up the display in Windows 10. And you can see here that I've got monitor one and monitor two. When you're in display settings, you can click on identify and it puts a number on the screen to tell you which monitor is which, which is kind of handy so that you know which one that you're dealing with when you're changing the settings that are shown below. Before I move on, here's an important thing that you might not know about running two monitors. Let's say number one is my laptop and number two is my external screen. And you can see here that one is slightly below the other one. And that means when I go down to the bottom of the screen here in the bottom left and I want to move my mouse across, it sort of bangs on the screen because it can't go over until I move it up a bit and then it can move over. Well, you can solve that problem by dragging the monitors next to each other, clicking apply. And now that means when I want to move my mouse across right at the bottom of the screen, it can go across onto the other screen, even though I might have a laptop down to my right hand side and a monitor up to my left hand side. And this solves that problem of having screens that are at different physical levels, but they act and operate as if they are actually horizontally next to each other. Let's choose monitor number one and scroll down here and you'll see that I've got the scaling set to 100%. Now scaling is about how the text looks and what size it is and it might be that you prefer to look at a larger size. Let's choose 125% for example now and look you can suddenly see clearly the text has got bigger right in front of us and that's what scaling does. I'm going to switch it back to 100 and then we're going to go down here to resolution that I described earlier. You can change the resolution down here to something lower let's go for 1280 by 1024 not only does it not fit on my widescreen monitor but also it's got a little bit of a blurriness to it a little bit of a softer look it's not quite as crisp and clean as the max resolution now you've seen how i've got my desktop set up with the two monitors and we've been through resolution and scaling we'll take a look at the windows taskbar how we can configure that and remove some of the icons that can clutter up the bottom of the screen so you've got the best experience when you're working on your computer. Go down to your taskbar and you can see taskbar settings. You can hide the taskbar when you're in desktop mode and there it disappears off the bottom of the screen. A small taskbar buttons and look, it shrinks down the size of them. You've got here one, show badges on the taskbar buttons. Now the badges actually means like here to say that there's one notification for Google Chat. I turn that off. In Windows 10, you can choose where you have your taskbar. You can have it at the bottom, you can have it at the top, right hand side. Here you've got one about whether you want to combine things up and have labels. I've got it set to always hide the labels and not show them. If we put never on there and we always show the labels, suddenly everything gets a little bit more busy down here and you can see the kind of applications that I've got open. I like to hide the labels myself. Multiple displays is now shown down here. Do you want to show the taskbar on both displays? You can switch that off and then on my additional display to the left, the taskbar no longer shows, giving me a bigger screen area to work on. You can show the taskbar buttons on all of the taskbars, only the main one on your screen or when the taskbar window is open. And likewise, you can hide the labels or show the labels on there as well. So it gives you a few other options that you've got for multiple displays. So there you go, how to set up dual monitors on your computer, give you the best experience for working from home. If this video has been pretty good for you, then click on the subscribe button, click on the like, and leave us a comment on YouTube, and James and I will reply to you, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers, ta-da.